Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we are going to solve this equation and we're going to find out all the solutions. Not just the real ones, not just the complex ones, not just the easy ones, not just the hard ones. This is not easy though. But anyway, as always, please pause the video and try this first. And who do we have here today? It's Teddy. He's really smart. He taught me how to do this, right? Yay. Thank you so much for coming. All right. Okay, so now, how can we solve this quartic equation? Yes, there's a quartic formula, but don't do that seriously. Okay, can we factor this? No, not really, right? But in fact, yes, and this is how. It's going to be helpful if you have seen my video on the integral 1 over x to the fourth power plus 1. It has similar flavor, all right? Have a look. The key is, notice that we have x to the fourth power, x squared, and also 1. What we'll do first is, divide everybody by x squared. And we can actually change this into a quadratic form, right? So you see, this right here is just going to give us x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x squared, and that's equal to 0. Great. Now, right here you see, we have the x squared and also the 1 over x squared. We can actually somehow force it to be a very nice term, a perfect square. This is how. Have a look. This is x squared, and then we have the plus 1 over x squared, right, already done like this. Here you see, right here, we have this square plus this square already. If in the middle, we just add 2 times this and that, well, look at that. Isn't this just a perfect square? Yes, it is. We added this. We just have to make sure at the end we subtract that. And it's not so bad, actually. You will see. All right, continue. The best part is that here we have this and that. So we can just say plus x plus 1 over x. And then we have the plus 1. And don't forget, what did we do? We added the 2. This and that cancels. It's just 2. So we can just minus 2 right here at the end. And this is still equal to 0, of course. Now, this right here, it's going to be x plus 1 over x to the second power. And this right here, match with that, so it's just plus x plus 1 over x. And this right here is, of course, just minus 1, and that's equal to 0, just like that. Now, this equation is in the quadratic form, and we can just use the quadratic formula for this, right? Great. So, I will just tell you, we will just write this as x plus 1 over x, which is our input. This right here, by the quadratic formula, you get negative this number, which is negative 1, plus or minus square root of, well, we have to do 1 square minus 4 times this and that, which is going to be a plus 4, and 1 plus 4 is 5, and yes, we have a golden ratio, but negative. <laughs> because if we have negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, that's the negative golden ratio. And then if you have that, that's the inverse of the golden ratio, but again negative, right? But anyway, we still have to solve for x. Don't get too excited with the golden ratio. This right here is not so bad at all, because we can just multiply both sides by x, and then you will see it will be just a regular quadratic equation. So that's great. And uh, I'm just going to use a golden ratio notation for this right here. Hope you guys don't mind. But again, we have the... This is the golden ratio by negative, so we have this is the negative v. And then this right here is the inverse, so I will just write it as negative 1 over v, like that, all right? All right, so I'm just going to do the following. Right here, I will multiply everybody by x. So we get x squared. And then this right here will be with x. Bring that to the other side. So it becomes the positive golden ratio, and then multiply by x. And then multiply by x, so this is going to be plus 1, and this is going to be 0. And if I bring this to the other side, we will have x squared, and it becomes the plus 1 over v, and then x plus 1 equals 0. So we have two equations, number 1 and number 2. But both of them are just quadratic, so they are not so bad, right? <laughs> we have to use the quadratic formula again. Anyway, I'll try my best to make sure that the final answer is pretty nice. We'll see. I don't know. All right, so for the first one, we see that x is going to be plus or minus. No. 
First one, we are going to see negative V. So I will just put this down right here for you guys. We have the negative golden ratio plus or minus square root of. So we have to do the V square and then minus 4 times this and that, which is just minus 4, all over 2 times that, which is just 2, like that. All right. So that's pretty much it. And secondly, we have x being equal to negative that, which is 1 over v. And then we have plus or minus square root of 1 over v square minus 4 all over 2, just like that. And I think I have to just stop right here because I really do not want to write out all the square roots inside here and then multiply things out. So, uh, yeah, let me just stop right here. Here we have it. This answer is pretty golden, right? Great. Now, Teddy has something to say. Okay. All right, he wants to do it this way. Have a look with the original equation. Let me just write this down again. So this is the Teddy's method, right? By Teddy. Originally, we have the x to the fourth power plus x to the third power plus x squared plus x plus one. That's equal to zero. What we'll do is multiply everybody by x minus one. Why? Believe in Teddy. The left hand side, it's x to the fifth power minus one. You can multiply it out, or you can just see that this is going to be x to the fifth power minus one, that's equal to zero. Well, we multiply this to reduce the expression into that, but don't forget, one is not the solution to the original equation, right? So, here's the deal. How can we solve x to the fifth power minus one is equal to zero? Well, just put the one to the other side, so this is x to the fifth power, that's equal to 1, yeah? And you just have to remember that x is actually not equal to 1. I know it's confusing, but no. <laughs> yeah. All right. What can we do next? Let's use complex numbers. So right here, for the 1, we are going to look at this as, right, x to the fifth power. We'll look at this as e to the 2 pi i, like that. So again, why? Because if you look at a complex plane, the one is right here. Even though the angle is zero, but if you just rotate it to here, the angle is two pi. And we can utilize this to help us out tremendously. One another way you can look at it is that we have this already. Well, you have to just think about each every time it's like rotation. Starting from here, how can you turn five times and you end up with this? So you have to do 2 pi divided by 5 in terms of the angle, right? Great. So now have a look. Here, we are just going to take the fifth root on both sides. But this right here, I will just write it for you guys. This is equal to, well, we have the following. Let me just put this down in blue. We will raise both sides to the 1 over 5th power, 1 over 5th power, like this. So you will see this right here is equal to, let's see, man, this is, not easy. It's e, and then we have 2 pi over 5. So I will put this down as 2 pi over 5. And then we have the i, right? Just like that. Just like that. 2 pi over 5. Just like that. Great. But the deal is that, in fact, not 2 pi is not the only angle that's going to make this work. What you can do next is you can add more and more because you can keep rotating and all that stuff. So you can just go ahead and keep adding 2 pi n and all that, right? And you just have to make sure n goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, and yeah, we don't know, 4. Yeah, technically. Even though one of the answers is not going to be needed because 1, but like, you know, technically you have to go from 0 to 4. And that's pretty much the idea. So you will actually have to include that. So I will actually do it right here. We have the i. Man, this is kind of hard for me to write i, but you have to make sure you also do the 2 pi plus the 2 n pi, or well, 2 pi n doesn't really matter, and divide it by 5 right here, like this. All right, so, man, I'm just going to write down the answer right here for you guys, and I will just write it in the sine cosine form. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. All right, 
So we'll see. What do we have? Well, when n is equal to 0, we just have 2 pi over 5 times i. So you see, x is equal to, and by the way, thanks to the Euler's formula, this is the angle. I want to put that into cosine theta plus i side theta. So first is cosine of 2 pi over 5. And then we add it with i sine of 2 pi over 5. So that's the first solution that we have. And in fact, you can actually figure out a pretty nice expression because this is uh, 36 or 72 degree, you will see. But uh, let's not do that. Let me just leave the answer right here, right? Okay, and then next we have, let's say this is the first solution. The next solution is x2, not x squared. It's when n is equal to 1. So let's do it right here. So this will be 2 pi plus 2 pi, which is 4 pi divided by 5. So this is cosine of 4 pi over 5 and then plus i sine of 4 pi over 5. And you can trust me, you can actually still get a pretty nice expression for that. And then we continue as 3 is cosine of when n is 2, which is going to give you 6 pi. So this is 6 pi over 5 plus i sine of 6 pi over 5. Whew, and then one more. x5, no, x4 is equal to cosine of 8 pi. So we have 8 pi pi over 5, and then plus i sine of 8 pi over 5, like this. And the last one is the honorable mention. Technically, you should go from 0 to 4, because it's the fifth degree, so you go from 0 to 4. But when n is equal to 4, this is 8 pi plus 2 pi is 10 pi, and you see x5, this right here is equal to cosine of 10 pi over 5, and then we add i sine of 10 pi over 5. But technically, what's this? This is 2 pi inside, cosine 2 pi is 1. Sine of 2 pi is 0. So this right here is actually equal to 1. But as we said, we multiply x minus 1 to just make things happen. X, x is equal to 1 is actually not our solution. It's just a fixed solution. We cannot borrow it. In the end, do not include this, right? not the solution to our original equation. So, the second way is this. We have all that right here. Very cool stuff. Right? This is a pretty classic uh, quadratic equation, and hopefully you guys all like this. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below and let me know. And lastly, Teddy, appreciate you guys watching this video. Right? Bye!